Today we will play with some smoke in Photoshop, so let's start! Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another really fun episode. Today we will have a lot of fun creating this really nice and interesting smoke effect from basically any object in Photoshop you choose. So without further ado, let's the fun begin. Before we turn this guy into a smoke and vaporize him, we need to create our smoke brush. And for that we need to find some smoke images, there are a lot of them online, you can go find them, download them, import them into Photoshop and then turn them into a brush. I will give you this one and I will show you on this one how you can create, how you can turn any smoke image into a brush. But before we start, one pro tip for all you guys who are really interested in this kind of effect, the more brushes you have, the better result you will have at the end because you will not use just one brush and have that repeated effect all over the image, you will use multiple brushes and your effect, your effect will be much more believable. Right now let me show you how to turn the image into a brush. First thing that we need to do is to invert the colors because for the brush we want to have pure white background. So for that I will press Ctrl Command I and that's it. And another thing we need to desaturate this image because for the brush we need just black and white colors. So to desaturate this just press Shift Ctrl U or Shift Command U on the keyboard and that's it. Now we can play with the contrast, make this smoke even darker if we want. For that we can use levels, curves, anything that we want. I will use levels, press Ctrl Command L on the keyboard and just move this lighter to the right and maybe whites more to the left to have all pure whites and that's it. Just press OK and now our image is ready to be transformed it into a brush. So for that go to edit, define brush preset and if you have this option grayed out make sure that your image is not larger than 5000 pixels on the longer side in Photoshop CC and plus and not larger than 2500 pixel in Photoshop CS6 and below, right? And now we can go and define brush preset, name this smoke or anything that you want, press OK and that's it, now we have a brush. I already have a set of my 25 custom made smoke brushes plus 9 smoke brushes that are already saved with some brush properties so they are immediately ready for creating this awesome effect. If you want to use my set of smoke brushes you can go to my website, the link is down there in the description and you can buy them for just a couple of bucks. Right now let me show you how you can set your own custom brush properties and save the brush for future use. Let's create a new layer, fill it with white and now if I start to paint with our previously created brush. I will have this not so interesting result. To have a better result I need to change some brush properties. So let's go to F5 and let's go to Shape Dynamics, move the size jitter all the way up so that I will have variation in sizes, then angle jitter all the way up, I will have variation in angles, then let's go to Transfer and move the opacity jitter all the way up to have variation in the opacities. Then go to Brush Tip Shape and increase the spacing a little bit so to have a less dense brush. If we decrease the spacing, we have a really dense brush. I don't want that, so I like something visually like this, right? And now we can start painting and we will have completely different result. Let's undo this and make the brush smaller. And this is much better. This brush is now ready for our effect. And now if you want to save this brush with this effect for future use, all you need to do is to go again to F5 to brush properties and go to this option here and say new brush preset. Name the brush and just click check this include tool settings. You don't need to include the brush size or the color. So that's it and whenever you choose that same brush in the brush palette you will have it ready for creating this smoke effect. So let's go to our image and first thing that we want to do here is to extract the object that we want to turn into smoke out of the background and to do that we need first to select it and press Ctrl Command J and we are done. If you're not familiar how to select basically anything in Photoshop, you can watch my tutorial about that right here. Alright guys, as you can see I already extracted this guy out of the background to save some time for this tutorial. I just use a quick selection tool and then press Ctrl Command J and that's it. Now I need to duplicate this layer two more times so I will press Ctrl Command J twice and now I have a three copies of that extraction. I will go to background layer, go here to adjustment layers and create a solid color adjustment layer, use a black color, press OK and now I have this guy on a black background. Right now I want to rename those three layers. First I will rename original, second one, let's hide first one, second one black and white, black and white 
and I will convert it into a black and white with a keyboard shortcut shift control U or shift command U and hide these two and the third one will be outline. Right there are a few different ways how you can create an outline out of the image and I will show you two of them so you can choose which one is better for the current image you're working on. All right, I will make a copy of this outline layer because I will show you two different ways how you can create an outline. First is to go to filter, stylize, find edges. And now we have a black outline, but we need a white one for this effect. So we need to invert the image with control command I. And now we need to desaturate the image with shift control U or shift command U on a Mac. And that's it. This layer is ready for our next step. That's the first method. Another method is to go to filter, filter gallery, go to stylize and choose glowing edges. And this is a little bit better because you have some options here to play with. You can play with edge width so you can make thinner or thicker lines, then brightness of those lines and smoothness. For this effect, for this image, I like smoothness all the way up, maybe brightness around five. Yes, and let me see the edges around four is okay. Let's press OK. And now we need to make this black and white with the Shift Control U or Shift Command U. And this layer is ready for our next step. So next step is to create a new layer. Let's delete this outline copy because we don't need it. New layer, let's rename it to Smoke number one and choose a smoke brush. I will choose one of these smoke brushes. Let's use maybe 19A and just paint with this maybe right here like this then I will create a new layer smoke number two and remember as many brushes as you use as many brushes as you can because you will have better result you will not have that repeating effect right then a new layer smoke number three let's choose another brush maybe this one looking nice and let's use another brush smoke number four let me see maybe 25 not bad at all and the goal here is to populate the whole body the whole selection with the smoke so let's use another brush smoke five and let me see this 18 is not bad maybe smaller one like that yes okay just just something like this is nice now i will go and select all small layers and make group by pressing ctrl command j on keyboard and i will go and set a mask on that group first i will go to outline press ctrl and click on that layer to load this selection then i will go and press a mask so now I am, I have a mask on this group and I am uh, containing my smoke inside of his body. But I don't like quite how this effect looks because I want some smoke to go uh, around his body. So I will go to this mask, choose another smoke brush, maybe 19, I will see, or 20. I will make it smaller and I will use a white brush and just paint with a mask to reveal some smoke that is going outside just a few of them not everything let me see and this is a little bit better maybe let me see yes this is nice maybe just here a few of them make a smaller brush and this can be really nice for now. Okay, now we can go inside this group. Let's name this group smoke. We can go inside this group and we can see which of these smokes we don't like. Maybe we just want some of the smoke on the face from this layer so we can create a new layer, uh, sorry, layer mask and use a black color and just paint with any kind of smoke brush or you can just use a soft brush, regular Photoshop soft brush and use maybe 20 or 30% opacity. Just paint out the effect. And I don't like this part of the smoke, so this is on layer number five, and I will make it softer, and this is much better. Let me see here. Okay, let's, this is okay. This is maybe too much, so I will 
make this a little bit softer. So this is a personal preference, guys. Just play with it, this experiment and see what suits the best for your effect. Okay, now that I am finished with this, I will collapse the group, okay? And I will go to outline layer. I will make another mask on the outline layer and brush out some of the outlines that are too bright that I find too distracted, right? Like this. And maybe here, I don't know, we need to experiment. And that's it. Now let's go to our black and white layer. Reveal it and create a mask. Go to filter, render and clouds. But before we do that, make sure that your colors are set to black and white. And let's click on the clouds and that's it. Now we can go double click on this. Uh, sorry, not double click, just click on this. Press Control Command L to load levels and make this a little bit darker in the mid-tones. Press OK, and then we can go and lower the opacity of this effect a little bit, maybe like this. And I will go to the mask, use maybe 50% opacity black brush and paint out from his body because I don't like on his body this effect. I like only on the face. So before and after, before and after much better. Let me see before and after. This is really nice. As you can see, this is really nice effect. This is before, this is after, before and after. Now you can play with some other things like you can add a smoke behind him, you can change the smoke color, etc. So let me show you that and we are done for today. All right, we can go and create new layer just between the outline and the color fill. So let's name it Big Smoke, for example, or you can name it whatever you want. And I will choose another brush, smoke number 7A. And with this brush, I will just add some smoke behind this guy and that's really nice but this is too heavy i will decrease the opacity so just have a subtle subtle result like this and that's it before and after if you like you can add that kind of effect too another thing that you can do is to reveal the original layer put a black mask on it by holding alt or option key and click on the mask option here and then use another brush maybe 19 why not and just go on his face and with the white color reveal some of his original color. And that's it. This is another great effect. You can go with the neck too or the body or whatever you want. So you can reveal the original part of the object that you like. So if you don't like that, you can hide it. You can go right here, create new hue and saturation adjustment layer and click colorize. So now you can colorize this into any color that you want. This is another option too. Another option is to colorize just some parts of the smoke, like go into smoke group, move this right here and clip it to affect only first smoke, then go with the lightness a little bit down and then you can colorize just this or duplicate that and colorize maybe this into some other color and so on and so on. You can play Play with this and colorize your image however you want, maybe blue or something like that and so on. You got a point. Right guys, that's basically it for this smoke effect and now it's up to you to be creative and turn your objects into a smoke. I will show you a few other examples with this smoke effect like this uh, baseball guy so we can reveal part of his face or legs or anything. We can colorize him, colorize him par partially remove the smoke behind him, add a smoke behind him and so on and so on. You can colorize in several different colors like this, reveal some parts of the original image and so on and so on, like a motorcycle. Then again, we can reveal some parts or not. We can colorize parts of them, some segments of motorcycles or even just the background. And maybe this big smoke, we can reveal it even more to have like a fire maybe effect or some lights behind. Basically, you can play with this however you want. And here is our image that we made today. Right, guys, I hope that you like this effect and that you learned something new out of this episode. If you have any questions at all regarding to this episode, please leave them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer them. If you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better, you can do it by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description. And of course, you will get some things in return. Subscribe if you're not already, ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes and see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.